All right, so we're off to Georgia next. Next stop, Georgia. You see, um, we did make it to um, Fort McAllister State Park in Georgia, historic site state park in Georgia. Um, they are very stern on the 1 p.m. check-in, so if you're coming to this park, make sure that you get there like at 1. Hello. Hello. Site number 21, which is not a premium site. It costs 35 bucks with tax on Reserve America. And uh, we get electricity and water, no sewer, but that's okay. Um, I didn't want to pay the extra few bucks. Um, so I'm going to show you the site where we're parked. So they give you these little hangers. I don't know what they're for. I guess, I just don't know. I can't figure that part out. Um, this is a... Definitely kind of a quaint campground here. You get a picnic table on the site. The site's nice and large, and all the sites kind of go on a, a curve like this. So you just pull right through, and every site is pull through. Premium site over there, if you could see, it's um, it's paved, or it's got gravel. These are all grass and dirt, hard packed. So, um, and it's level. The mothership is level. What I think is kind of cool is you get to see the Spanish moss, which is, it becomes old after a while when you're in the south. But these uh, look like magnolia trees here. Of course, they're not in bloom because of the time of the year it is. And then I like these little uh, fronds here, little palm trees. The reason this uh, Fort McAllister State Park is a historic site state park is because it has a museum and a fort that you can see. Those do cost money. Um, so, come along with me, and we'll see uh, a a Geechee, Ogeechee River. It's a saltwater river that flows in it if the, into the Atlantic Ocean. I'm gonna the Atlantic Ocean's two miles out, but I'm gonna show you at least the river part. So, and I'm gonna take you a walk through the park as well. All right, they do have a couple bathhouses on site, and they have a, some laundry services, and then that store I showed you in the beginning in the park. Uh, I'm not gonna probably go and tour through the facilities. I'm gonna give you just a quick walking tour. It's a very big park, a very clean park, full of uh, wildlife. I heard from one of the camp hosts that, um, there's very large raccoons and deer that wander through the campsites and armadillos. It's like a little book swap there. You don't see those very often. I got a couple handicap accessible showers. They got a lot of uh, little swings set up along the Oguchi. Oguchi? Okay, I'm gonna look that spelling up or someone correct me in the comments, please. Um, but there's little um, swing benches there. And then there's a boat ramp and then up here over there. And then right here is a boat ramp where you can bring your boat in and dock to go fishing or just for leisure activity.
fish, fish cleaning center. So uh, that in a nutshell is my tour of the campground. Okay, so um, here's the map of the park. For, there's the information if you need it. I'm sure you could Google it if you want. There's the map of the park. Uh, some of the parts that you might not have seen in my video. So that concludes Fort McAllister, um, the tour that is so I of the campground <laughs> so I want you all to know that it's a very nice campground it's very clean and um, there's a ton of wildlife that I'm not going to show in this video because it's a long video as it is um, but there were some deer and um, some of you do know that deer in Georgia and Florida down south are very I don't know Great Dane size ish maybe even smaller than that um, but I did get a couple shots. They just weren't clear enough for my um, taste. And Maria had seen a coyote um, at about 4.30 in the morning. Um, we've seen some raccoons, of course. No armadillos. We didn't see any armadillos. Um, uh, so there was a lot of wildlife. And the deer were probably about 12 feet from me. And I got pretty close to them. And they didn't startle. So they're very used to... Uh, people being in the park all the time and I recommend this park like if I was going to stay long term in an area of Georgia it would have been one of their state parks because this was one that we went to and it was very clean I don't know about the rest and can't attest to that so um, Fort McAllister historic site state park so um, yeah if you ever want to check it out I'll definitely probably be back there in the future um, just because it's so great and gives you that southern um charm before you hit florida so make sure you subscribe to the video or the the channel hit alerts and the like and share and we will see you very soon probably in florida next time thanks for coming back